Hi everyone, it's Lou Collins. Thank you so much for joining me. Today I want to share with you a live video replay um, from one of my Facebook lives where we made a really beautiful card with a stunning aperture using my latest collection. This is the Textures Opulence collection and this is the floral outline die that I'm focusing on today. I'm going to be using one of the frames as well from the collection and these really pretty pink and green colours. Now the cardstocks that I'm using are pearlescent, they're around about 250 GSM, I'm just choosing my colours here, um, and they work really well with saltwater taffy and bundled sage in the Distress Oxide range. So the first thing for me to do was to die cut the floral outline die, there's two dies in the packet here, um, you can see that in the bottom left hand corner, um, you've got a large outline die and then you've got the decorative part, we're only using the decorative part today. So I'm cutting it first of all from that really gorgeous soft green that I chose, um, I can't give you the brand of the cardstock unfortunately, it was just in my stash. Uh, and like I say, it has sort of got a bit of a shimmer to it, a pearlescent shimmer, but it's really gorgeous. As you can see, I'm just checking here, but all the pieces have cut beautifully, just running it through. I say once, but once and twice, I always go forwards and backwards with pretty much any die. So I'm just going to release all of this. And then I go ahead and I cut the peachy, pinky colour cardstock as well from the same die. The longest part of this was just popping all the pieces out of my die and then the die cut as well. But again, as you can see, everything's just cut absolutely beautifully. So once I had popped all the pieces out from here, the next stage was to start paper piecing. And usually paper piecing would be done with much more of a solid die, but I chose to try it with this one and let's just see how it worked out. And it was gorgeous. I really, really loved the final effect that we got from this. Now I didn't actually need to pop all the pieces out from the entire die because I'm cutting into it. So here I've actually been snipping and just snipped around the petals of the pink version and I'm going to lay them over the green and the same with the little bud there. You can use the packaging actually just to um, get a gauge for where the flowers are in the design. Just use some embroidery scissors you can see there in the bottom right hand corner and it looks beautiful. So then I'm just going to use some um, glue. This is actually book binding glue. It's the Creative Craft Products book binding glue. It's my favourite glue to use for sticking paper to paper. And it's got a really fine nozzle on it as well. So the tip is really fine and really great for, for detail like this. You can, of course, also use something like a spray adhesive that would get on the, all the detail. Or you could even brayer or sponge some glue onto the back of the detail too. So just applying the finest bit of detail, kind of just little dots of it. I don't want too much glue because you don't want it seeping out everywhere. Um, and just place this over the green base of the design. It just comes to life so quickly. It's such a beautiful die. I have to say though, this die is selling out really quickly. The first batch from launch, uh, I think there's only about a quarter of the stock left now. So yeah, it's, it's flying. Um, I don't know how much longer this will be around, but I will link it down below anyway, the die and the collection for you in case you want to go and check those out. So I'm going to go around this whole image, glue it on as you can see there in the top corner. And then I use the same uh, Textures Opulence collection, but I've got some beautiful nesting frames. And these frames also have uh, kind of embossing detail on them. I haven't actually used a rubber mat with this one, so you can only just slightly see the emboss that comes through just from die cutting this in white cardstock on its own. Uh, you get a bit of a peek here just at the rest of the dies, so you can see them all there. Um, the one that's missing there is the one that I've just used, so there is an even larger one. The largest one is around about A5 in UK sizes. So this white frame that I've cut, I'm going to just draw around. Now what I've done here was my sort of mistake. I have um, smooched some ink onto a piece of white cardstock underneath. Um, I intended on this being the base of my card as such on the front. So I've just marked with a pencil where the frame is going to fall so that I can cut this out. Um, and this is where I noticed, this was like my light bulb moment. As I looked to the left, and I saw the floral sitting in the frame on the wood grain background, I thought, wow, that looks stunning just there as a, an aperture, as a peek through, without the white background. It, I mean, just look at that, it looks amazing. So I changed my mind. I decided now 
to see whether I could actually cut my card front into um, an aperture and have this going over the aperture instead, almost floating in the aperture. So I took the smaller frame from the one I just used from the same set, placed that onto my card base, card's still closed at the moment, and just checked. I thought, yeah, do you know what? I'm not using the frame shape, but the outer edge will fit perfectly as an aperture in the front of my card. So I just taped this down with a bit of low tack tape, opened the card up and uh, ran this through my die cutting machine and you'll see the result in just a second. So there's the card base now cut with that aperture in. That frame sits beautiful. It's like it's double framed, double mounted, I think the word is actually in there. And I, what I also really liked was how that top leaf has overlapped the border. I just thought that looked so pretty. I would cut off the bottom and top overlapping leaves. Um, but yeah, I thought that was stunning. So pleased I changed my mind and did that. So just gluing the decorative floral to first of all the first frame that I cut, the larger one, and then trimming off any excess from underneath. But I have overlapped a few of the leaves, both top and bottom, and the petals on the right hand side as well to make it look as if it's growing out of the frame almost. Next I needed to add some acetate behind the window. This was actually one of my um, live viewers suggestions but yeah it kind of struck me as a good idea anyway because this is going to support the decorative floral outline die uh, make sure it's not sort of flopping about there in the aperture just strengthen it a little bit so did you know you could cut acetate on your usual sort of trimmer like this well um, yeah I've been doing it a while it doesn't seem to dull my blade or anything so I just marked with scissors where I needed to trim my acetate. This is a really good strong one actually. It's a Ducrafts or Paper Mania, sorry, brand. Um, and yeah, it's really thick. It comes in 12 by 12 inch sheets, which I love. Um, yeah, and it's so sturdy. So I'm just trimming this down and then I'm going to use the foam tape that I've got there um, in a moment to raise this all up on my card base. So back to my book binding glue, this does stick acetate as well, although it's perfect with paper to paper, works really well with acetate too. It just takes a little bit longer to dry, of course. So I'm just being really careful here about placing this down onto the acetate. I uh, don't want to wiggle it too much, I don't want any glue marks. So place that down, hold it for a moment, and then flip that back over. Oh, it just looks so pretty, doesn't it? <laughs> flip that back over and put some of the foam tape on the back so I can raise it up and give it even more dimension. So just checking everything's going to fit and it does. So here's my foam, it is around about a four or five millimeter um, thickness. So it is quite a thick, chunky foam tape. And um, got this from Craft Stash. Again, Craft Stash are linked down below. It's my go-to shop, of course, um, for all my craft products. I've got UK and US uh, websites linked in the description. So you'll find everything I'm using there, including the textures, opulence collection, this die, the frames, pretty much everything I'm using. So now just pressing that down over, I've got something on my card there, I don't know what it was. Pressing that down over the um, aperture there, making sure that frame around the centre that you can just see inset there is perfectly level and even and uh, in the middle. And look at that, it's such a beautiful card, such an easy card to make as well. No colouring involved or anything like that. I just think it's really delicate. It would be suitable for a wedding, for a sympathy card, for a thank you, for a get well soon, for a birthday, all of these. Now, if you want to write in your card, of course, you're going to worry about seeing that writing peek through. So what I did is I took this watercolour panel that I'd already uh, kind of smooched with my inks and then decided not to use, scored a line down it, and I'm pressing it inside the um, card just up with the glue under that scored line there. So I've created myself kind of an insert to write underneath. So my message is going to go underneath here. And then when your card is closed or on display, you're not going to see your message, but you can, of course, really easily lift up that watercolour panel. So I didn't waste it after all the work I did creating it to match the colours, um, but you can lift that up and then you can just write underneath. Um, I think this is the perfect solution for a card when you have got a peek through from the front, but you don't want your writing or your message to kind of ruin the design. It might look beautiful until you have to add in your handwriting underneath. 
So there we have it, the finished card. I hope you love this as much as I do. If you do like card tutorials like this, please do subscribe to my channel. Give this video a thumbs up. And I think you're also going to really like this video that I'm just dropping here for you. Take care, everybody. I'll see you again very soon.